Good day Grade 11s. Welcome to this next lesson of week number 22. We're still looking at measurement and in this lesson we are revising volume. So the volume of a any type of prison or shape like this is very easy because its volume is always, always, always equal to the area of the base times the perpendicular height. So in this case it's very easy because if I call this B for breadth and L for length and this is H for height then obviously that the volume of this is going to be B times L times H and then it's going to be in this case and remember it's units cubed units cubed so if we do this example we've got that the volume is equal to 5 times 8 times 4 5 times 8 is 40, 4 times 4 is 160 cubic centimeters. Nice and easy, right? Triangular prism. Again, your volume equals your area of your base times your perpendicular height. Now, when you look at this, you might get a little bit freaked out. But if you think about taking this and putting it on its end, so the triangle is the base, then it becomes really easy because then all we have is the area of the triangle times this perpendicular height. So the area of the triangle is a half times base times height times, and I'm going to call it big H for the perpendicular height of this. So, if I did this example, it would be a half times the base of this, which is 8, times the height of the triangle, which is 3, times the height of the prism, which is 12, and that cancels that to give me 4, times 3, times 12, which is 12 times 12, which is 144, and this is centimeters. And remember that because it's volume, it is centimeters cubed. Right, now let's do the cylinder. Again, volume equals area of base times the perpendicular height. And the only tricky thing here is to remember that the area of the base is a circle and the area of a circle is pi r squared times my perpendicular height. So in this case, what would I get? I'd get the volume is equal to the area of the base, so it's going to be equal to 2 squared, because that's the radius, times pi times 4, which is going to be 16 pi centimeters cubed. Right. This one here is a little bit trickier, so I would really suggest you learn it. It's the volume of the square pyramid, and you'll notice that it's a third times the area of the base times the height of the pyramid. So in this case we're looking at a third, third, times by the area of the base. The area of the base in this case they're calling it B and it's a square. So this is just going to be times by B squared times the height of the pyramid. So we are not talking about the slant height here, we're talking about this perpendicular height, the height of the pyramid. So that's going to be a big H there. And that is how we would get the volume of the square pyramid. And remember that again, it's units cubed, units cubed. Triangular prism, the volume of a triangular prism is going to be a third, again, times the area of the base, times the height of the pyramid. And again, just to make this easy, I'm going to call this S. And you'll note that it's an equilateral triangle. So this side and that side and that side are all equal and they're all going to be equal to S. So it's going to be a third times the area of the base. But this time the area of the base happens to be a triangle. So it's times by a half times by the base, which in this case, I mean the, the base of the triangle, which in this case is S, times the height of the base which is this little line here, which is going to HB, times the height of the pyramid, which is this big H over here, this big H. So if we want to simplify that, it becomes one third times one half is one sixth times the length of the base times the height of the base times the perpendicular height of the pyramid. 
right cone, a third times the area of the base times the height of the cone, where again the area of the base is a circle, so it's going to be pi r squared, and we're not talking about the slant height here again, we're talking about the height of the cone, which is h. And finally we get the sphere, which again I would just suggest you learn. The volume of sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. 4 over 3 pi r cubed. And that grade 11's is volume. Please go make sure you know how to work out the volume of the different shapes and do practice and then do the assessment at the end of the week. Thank you grade 11's. Have a great day.